Hello ladies and gentlemen, Holotide here, and we're going to talk about a lot today, uh, not just with the great journey operation update that's coming next Tuesday, but really the future of Halo Infinite. We've got a lot to cover. I have a lot of uh, opinions and whatnot. We're supposed to get more information about the great journey this week. I'm recording this on a Wednesday. So Halo Studios, if you decide to, uh, you know, drop a blog post or something today after I've uploaded this video, I'm going to be very mad. I've been wanting to make a video about the Halo Waypoint article that dropped that talks about the future updates. And it just seems like we keep getting more and more information and rumors and leaks and stuff like that. So I've kind of been holding off. But we're going to cover, like, all of that today. That being said, if you want to stay up to date with Halo stuff, I could be your third favorite Halo YouTuber out of, like, three. Ubernick is also coming back to YouTube, apparently, so I'm going to probably drop to your fourth favorite. We're trying to hit 15,000 subscribers. We're almost at 14,000, so let's, let's make it happen. Okay, anyways, let's get into the actual video. I'm going to talk about the Great Journey update that's coming next Tuesday first. Then we're going to talk about the future stuff and where I see Halo Infinite going from here because we've got confirmation of, like, multiple updates that are coming. And that includes operations in those updates. So what can we expect coming for Halo 2's 20th anniversary? Oh my god, I'm getting so old. To Halo MCC and Halo Infinite, well, they talked about having the Halo 2 E3 build releasing on Halo MCC, so that's very cool. Halo Studios tweeted out a I need a weapon video talking about the great journey coming up, but it also shows off what I assume, and I'm assuming because I can't imagine that they would use I need a weapon and it just be a weapon like kit or whatever it's called where it just changes the model. I think it's a brand new weapon and I think it's the MA5K Carbine, aka the Mask SMG. I'm actually excited for this weapon because I hope that it basically replaces the AR. My biggest problem with the AR is that it gets a headshot damage multiplier, making it more RNG when you're fighting people with it, and it's just bleh. So hopefully the mask or the MA5K does not have that. It's just a little bit more, you know, cool, fun to use. Yeah. It also looks like we're going to get some new maps and maybe some new modes according to a little bit of, I don't even know if it's leaks at this point, guys. I know we got the Halo throwback, or the Halo 3 throwback playlist uh, a while ago, and we got new maps and stuff with that, but, like, there's been a leak since, like, May for a map of Relic, and I think that Halo Studios actually used the map in the background of one of their promotional images anyways, but it's called Vestige, or Reverent, and it's a Forge map, like I said, Relic, we'll see what happens. It was unfinished way back then. Hopefully it's finished now. And in terms of game modes, it looks like there will be some legacy game modes coming where there's like no sprint, no clamber, no equipment. You can jump higher and stuff like that. I think that it still needs to be tweaked a little bit. Hopefully this is kind of like old stuff and there will be more updates to uh, those game modes. We're also rumored to get the Halo 2 Chief Armor. Hopefully I can like equip like a different helmet and stuff to it unlike the Mark V. Also coming in November, the third person Halo, I guess, not game mode, but setting, I guess is the best way to put that. So third person Halo firefight, hopefully, fingers crossed, that'll be fun. Now in terms of, you know, that new weapon, that's like the first new weapon we've had since the Bandit, Evo Bandit, I guess in like months and months and months and months and months year has it been a year so that's very cool it seems like we're getting more than just like a shop update for this one more than just cosmetics all right let's hop over to the future of halo stuff and that waypoint article they said that the great journey will mark the beginning of what they're calling halo infinite's winter update which includes three operations over the following three months the winter update will bring some really exciting additions to halo infinite we can expect to see notable forge updates, quality of life improvements. And once those operations are complete for the winter update, they go on to the spring update. So they don't confirm that there's going to be like three operations for the spring update, but I think that it's implied here. 
So basically confirming that there's like another six months of Halo Infinite updates and I think that that's important to say because I feel like a lot of people think this game has been abandoned, dead, shot in the head, in the shed. That's uh, sounds like I'm Eminem right there. I did not mean to do that. And with all the things that have been, you know, popping up here and there rumor wise with like more new weapons coming, maybe the Falcon, you know, uh, fingers crossed. I think there's a lot of potential. I will say that I feel like it is kind of bittersweet that Halo Infinite is so completely and utterly different now as a game than it was on release. And so much of the wider gaming population has like no idea about all the stuff that's been added through like Forge or Firefight, stuff like that. It just kind of, you know, sucks. Now the Great Journey is the only confirmed operation that has like a theme so far i do wonder if we'll see like other themes that are very specific like that or if it will just be like more of a generic update who knows but i would love to see them to you know start introducing more covenant weapons or banished weapons and stuff like that maybe some cosmetics for those weapons that don't have any I'm thinking that, you know, if the CE Remake Remaster game is the next Halo game coming out, that they're not just going to abandon Halo Infinite. We're, we're coming up on year three of Halo Infinite. And while the player base does seem pretty small, especially like on Steam numbers, I still think that there's fairly a decent amount of people playing on console. And I think that they're still making money off of uh, all the store stuff. So as long as that's happening... And, you know, there's no direct competition for Halo from, like, another Halo game coming out. I think that we're going to keep seeing updates to Halo Infinite. And who knows how big those updates will be going forward. But that's going to do it for the video, ladies and gentlemen. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like down below. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe, and I will catch you all around the ring. Pizza! Pizza, pizza. Piece of pizza. What the? If you made it this far in the video, leave a pizza emoji or something or type pizza out in the comments. All right, goodbye for real.